Mr. Churchill visits the Australian troops in camp in England, wearing his John Bull hat and his bulldog expression. The British Premier is at home among men who look tough and are tough. Good on you, Blue. He seems to like those rugged digger faces. He's seen the like before. Mr. Churchill makes his inspection with General Winter, commanding the 2nd AIF, and Brigadier Moore's head. And he hears the Aussies singing an Aussie song. With the cares of a world war on his stout shoulders, Mr. Churchill can still smile cheerily. Music welcomes the Premier to the New Zealand camp, where some of the units parade in battle bowlers, instead of the familiar peaked felt hats. If he had needed any evidence of the strength and spirit of these troops from the Dominions, which he didn't, Mr. Churchill certainly came to the right place for it. These sons of the original Anzacs are their fathers over again. But they're not all of the new generation. Medal ribbons from the last war catch Mr. Churchill's eye. He was in that one too. This time, Britain is a battleground, and these lads from the other end of the empire, the other end of the world, are spoiling for a fight. Every unit is trained to the minute in modern methods of warfare and ready to translate expertness into action. From a fighter to fighters, it's hats off. And the brotherhood of the British nations is expressed as Britain's war leader salutes the new Anzacs.